Welcome everyone. Today's adventure takes us into the heart of Chinese superstitions, where numbers and colors play pivotal roles in shaping luck and fortune. Zhao Hua, are you ready to explore the do's and don'ts? That could change your fate. Let's dive in. We'll start with numbers. In the world of Chinese superstitions, numbers are more than digits. They are symbols of fortune or misfortune. Numbers influence various aspects of daily life, including naming, marriage, and business decisions. Let's start with the unlucky numbers you might want to avoid. The first is the unlucky number four, C. Number four sounds like the word death in Chinese, so it is avoided. It is feared for its links to death and misfortune. So many people stay away from number four like it was the plague. From skipping floors in buildings to avoiding phone numbers, it's the ultimate symbol representing bad luck. It's not uncommon to step into an elevator in China and find that there's no button for the fourth floor or the 14th floor or any fours. The next unlucky number is 13 Shi San. Chinese people have adopted the Western superstition. That number 13 is unlucky. No one knows exactly when this cultural transfer happened. But number 13 is now firmly established as a bad luck number. But it's not all doom and gloom with numbers. Some numbers can bring good luck and prosperity. Xing Yun Shu Zi. So let's check them out. The first lucky number is eight. Ba eight resembles the Chinese word for wealth. So it's no surprise that it is a symbol for prosperity and good fortune. Number eight is sought after for phone numbers, license plates, and addresses. A double eight or 88 is considered doubly lucky. That's because it creates the double happiness Yi Chinese character. Next, we have the lucky number six, Liu. Six symbolizes smoothness and promises a life free of obstacles. And who wouldn't want that? Finally, we have the lucky number nine, Ju. Nine sounds like long lasting in Chinese. So it is cherished for its association with longevity and eternal love. Nine is a favorite for weddings. These beliefs are not unique to Chinese culture, since some Asian countries share these traditions. Colors lucky and unlucky. Moving from numbers to colors, Xing Yun Se, each hue holds its own symbolic meaning. Chinese culture attaches certain values to colors. So some colors are considered auspicious, Ji Li, and others are regarded as inauspicious, Bu Li. Now let's unravel the colorful superstitions of China. The first lucky color is red. Red is the ultimate emblem of luck, joy, and prosperity. It's the color of good fortune. Red is popular in relation to anything Chinese. It is widely used during celebrations, festivals, and weddings. But it's not only popular because of its bold and vibrant hue. It is desirable because it represents happiness, success, and luck. During the Chinese New Year Festival, young people are given red envelopes full of money as good luck presents. But did you know that there are other colors? that holds special meaning in Chinese culture. The color yellow is also lucky. Yellow represents the earth in traditional Chinese culture. It once was reserved for the emperor, symbolizing power and good luck. Incorporating yellow in your house or wardrobe can add a touch of auspicious good luck to your life. Another lucky color is gold. Gold, much like the number eight, represents wealth and prosperity, just as it does in Western culture. It's a color to embrace to attract abundance. Next, let's look at the color green. Green is another lucky color in Chinese culture. Green is the color of fertility, regeneration, harmony, and growth. Green also represents something pure and clean. So buildings, banks, and restaurants are often painted in green. But sometimes green can be unlucky as it is associated with infidelity. There's a superstition that a man wearing a green hat may have a wife or sweetheart who is cheating on him. Remember not to wear anything green on your head while in China. The color white is considered unlucky. White is a symbol of purity and there is also something unworldly about it. It is perceived as unlucky because it is linked to mourning and death. It is seen during ghost festivals and many Chinese people wear white to funerals. The other unlucky color is black. Black is symbolic of water. Although black is a favored neutral color favored by fashion designers, the color black is associated with darkness and secrecy, and so the word mafia can be translated as black society in Chinese. From the numbers we favor to the colors we love and wear, Chinese superstitions offer a rich tapestry of beliefs that guide daily life and decisions. Whether you're a believer or just curious, 
Understanding these superstitions opens a window into the cultural heart of China. Exploring these numbers and colors isn't just about avoiding bad luck. It's about connecting with a culture's heritage and understanding the symbols and rituals that enrich our human experience. We hope you enjoyed learning more about some cultural beliefs today. Thanks for joining us on this journey of discovery at Asia Traditions. Until we see you again, may luck and fortune be on your side. Remember to like, subscribe and comment below.